Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to take a look how to graph cosine function y equals cosine of x using a table and the unit circle which you see is right here. We're going to need a big, big, big table x and y, and uh, the input are going to be the angles, right? And you see them here. The first angle we're going to talk about is zero degree or zero radians. That goes with point A. And the cosine is the x coordinate, which is y. Right. Let's go to the second point on the unit circle, which is point B. That will be 30 degree or pi over 6. The x coordinate is square root of 3 over 2, which is, we can see it in this case, 0.8. Moving to the next point on the unit circle, point C, which goes with an x coordinate of square root of 2 over 2, that will be pi over 4, 45 degrees. And square root of 2 over 2, if you simplify, it's 0.7. And the next one on the unit circle, point D, which is 60 degree or pi over 3. And the x coordinate is 1 half, or just 0.5. And one more uh, in this moment, which is this uh, point E, which is 90 degree or pi over 2. And you see the x coordinate is 0. So now we can plot these uh, five points, right? 0 and 1, right here. Pi over 6 and 0 0.8, somewhere here. Pi over 4 and 0.7. Then uh, pi over 3 and 0.5. And the pi over 2 and 0. We get the first part of the cosine function, OK? Uh, let's move to the second quadrant, and we're going to go to point F, which is 120 degrees, or 2 pi over 3. And we see the x coordinate is negative 1 half, which is negative 0.5. Let's move to the next point, point G. Point G is 135 degrees. The x coordinate is negative square root of 2 over 2, and 135 degrees, 3 pi over 4, right? Uh, negative square root of 2 over 2, negative 0 0.7 if we simplify. Yeah. Let's go to point H, the next one, right? Uh, that is going to be 150 degree or 5 pi over 6. And we see the x coordinate negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 0.8. One more, and look into point I which is 180 degree, right, uh, or pi, and we see the x coordinate negative 1, okay? And again, we can plot these uh, four points, right? 2 pi over 3, negative 0.5, but somewhere here. Uh, 3 pi over 4 and negative 0.7, somewhere here. 5 pi over 6 and negative 0.8, somewhere here, and pi and negative 1. And we get the second part of the cosine function. And now we're going to move to the third part, which goes with quadrant 3. So the first guy here, point J, that will be 210 degree or 7 pi over 6. 7 pi over 6. And we see this one is negative square root of 3 over 2, which is negative Point A. I'm going to go to point K. Point K, that will be 225 degrees, right? And uh, in pi, 225, it's 5 pi over 4. And that one will be negative 0.7. Let's move to the next one, point L. And that one. It will be 240 degree or 4 pi over 3. And we're going to get negative 0.5. And the last one when, uh, for this uh, part of the graph will be point M, which is 270 degree, 3 pi over 2, which is nothing else than 0. Okay. So again, we have a set of four points which we're going to graph 7 pi over 6 and negative 0.8, somewhere here. 5 pi over 4 and negative 
0.7 somewhere here. Uh, 4 pi over 3 and uh, negative 0.5 somewhere here. And the last one, 3 pi over 2 and 0. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the third piece of the cosine function, which goes to quadrant 3. Now we're going to move to the last part of the cosine function, which is going to go with quadrant 4. And the first gentleman we have is point n. Point n is 300 degree or 5 pi, 5 pi over 3. And that one we see it is 1 half, 0.5. The next, the next one will be point P. Point P, that will be 350 degree or 7 pi over 4. And we see the square root of 2 over 2, which is 0.7. One more, point Q, which is... Uh, 330 degree and that will be 11 pi over 6 11 pi over 6 and that will be uh, 0.8 now the last one that I'm not going to put even on the table is again point A which is 0 and 1 that is 360 degrees so we go back to the original position and how does it look now on the graph that's something like this these three points and like I said we're going back to the original situation okay so you have by hand what we call the graph of cosine of x using the units of left let's do one more uh, here oops like right here okay so one more period we can do it uh, and we're going to get something like this. And now we have a better idea about the cosine. Yeah, this is the graph of the cosine uh, done with a computer algebra system. And uh, let's take a look just between 0 and 2 pi. We have two intercepts. two max and one mean and you see how they are located that's pretty much what I do when I have to grab a cosine function if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clips thank you